Hey, what's up guys? This is Garrett with Chuckin' TV. I'm back in New York for Christmas break here. Um, New Year's Eve is two days away and we got a little bit of a break in the weather here. It's actually not blowing too bad like it was this morning. We get, figure we get out here and do a little testing. This is going to be a follow-up video for the Ruger Ranch. We shot this video before and the box was just being open basically. We didn't even clean the gun. We did it like any anyone out there else would potentially do it. And we tried to get accuracy literally straight out of the box. Didn't even clean the gun or nothing. The gun now is completely different. It's got a muzzle brake on it. It's got a different Nikon scope on it. It's a Pro Staff 5, three and a half to 14 by 40. Um, actually bought it off my dad. He had it for another project and didn't want it anymore. So I bought it off him. It's now on this gun. Um, I've actually taken an M Carbo spring kit and put it in the trigger as well. I don't know if you remember last time the trigger we talked about wasn't quite up to snuff from what we were really happy with so it's significantly lighter now it's down to around two and a half pounds if i remember correctly and it's shooting way better this thing you barely could feel it kick before but now with that uh muzzle brake on it i mean it, <laughs> it's like shooting a 22 almost it's pretty pretty laughable honestly um but today we've got some frontier 55 grain ball ammo i'm going to do a three shot test here to show you guys kind of what the gun will do now with factory ammo. You can get this stuff for, you know, right around 33 cents, 35 cents a round. Um, I bought this stuff locally, but the 223, this is not the XM193 NATO ammo. It's 223, 55 grain, full metal jacket bullets. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot this group to kind of show you what it does. And then I've also got two different loads with a spear soft point. It's a 55 grain spire soft point. Um, I've got a 25 grain load with Varget and a 27 grain load with Varget to do a little bit of a test here and see which one of those shoot. And I'll end up sticking with one of those, you know, for woodchucks, hogs. I probably won't shoot a deer with this, um, but you could shoot a deer if you really wanted to. I know there's a bunch of reports out there of guys doing it, but it'd be a great overall round um, that I'll probably just stick with and it's dirt cheap to load. So we're gonna put these to the test and we'll do it right now. Hang with us. Again, we got uh, the Frontier ammo here. 55 grain ball, so we're going to see what this will do now. Those two are darn near touching down there, so that's pretty good. Nice thing about this stuff, too, is you can reload it. I've reloaded it already for the AR and for this gun, and it functions very well. You do have to chamfer the primer pocket a little bit though, I will warn you that. That's a much better group there, but it is a vertical group, so. As you can see there, it's a much better group than what it was before. But it is, uh, it is a pretty decent group, but we're basically back on target now. Now we can actually test our hand loads. Again, 25 grains of Argot, 27 grains of Argot. And we'll see what those uh, spear bolts are all cracked up to be. People are saying that they're getting incredible accuracy out of it. And for the price point, it's kind of hard to believe. So we'll see what they can do. Let's go check that target out and we'll be right back with you. All right, so we've got the 25 grain bullet here. Uh, excuse me. We've got the 25 grain load of Varget here with that spear soft point. I do like this bullet just by the looks of it. It doesn't have a big old glob of lead on the front of it. It's nice and smooth. Uh, I was getting really consistent um, coals, so the cartridge overall length there was really consistent, unlike a lot of the soft points out there. This was really nice, easy to load. I'm um, shooting a CCI primer. This is brand new Hornady brass. I haven't uh, fire formed or anything in this chamber, so my expectations aren't super high, but we will see a difference in the loads I anticipate. So. That'll still get us to where we want to be on which load we think is better. If neither of them are good, I'll try a 26 grain load, which is smack in the middle of these two being 25 and 27. So 27 being the maximum charge for this round. Um, as you can see, they still fit inside the AR mag just fine. These are loaded at basically Sammy spec. So we'll see how it goes. Really nice shot there. It basically hit the the bullseye. If you notice, there wasn't a lot of flame on that shot either. So that's really good. 
that means all the powder is getting burned up nicely. So the felt recoil is very low with that too. Not looking too bad so far. That's looking pretty good. So that's the 25 grain load with Varget powder. All right, so we've got the uh, 25 grain load down and it looks pretty darn good. Um, a little bit of horizontal movement there and that could be me, could be the load. I'm guessing it's me. I'm not shooting the greatest today. Um, it is mighty cold out here. Um, probably not the best conditions to test the load on. I like to be more around a 50 degree mark. This is about 32 degrees, so right at freezing. Um, but I've left the gun set outside, left the ammo set outside here the last 45 minutes or so. So it's kind of all the same, which is, to me is pretty important. Um, if you notice on that one, there was very little recoil, no flame shooting out, and it was not, a, as nearly as lot of a report coming out of the end of that muzzle either. Um, I've got a 27 grain load now, so two grains heavier. Um, so we'll see what it does now. Definitely louder, but I still did not see a flame, so that's pretty good. Well, that group's already worse than the other one. So we'll see what these other two want to do to prove the, prove the theory. Yep, not looking too good down there. Max charge, the gun don't like it. Not even sure where that one went, maybe through the same hole, but I doubt it, so. I think we got a winner out of this category so far. 25 grains, um, it's definitely a clear winner out of the two. We had a 25 grain load and a 27 grain load of Argit. I think because this is a 16 inch barrel, it just can't possibly efficiently handle all the powder charge. And also I think that's why the Frontier wasn't that great and you had a big old flame shooting out of it. The powder wasn't getting burned up. Again, it's probably ball powder versus stick powder, but regardless, it likes that lighter load. And also when I was using the 73 grain ELD match, it liked the lighter load of the Varga and the Vitavori powders as well. So this gun just likes a lighter powder charge. I'll probably shoot, try up some 26s, but I doubt it's gonna get much better than that 25. I think that's probably what I'll stick with this year. And I think you're gonna see this gun put in action this spring when I head down to Oklahoma on a little bit of a pig hunt with my buddy Mark. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, stick with us, we're gonna keep pushing this gun and seeing what it can do. So it's uh, definitely a fun gun to shoot, super lightweight, great for a kid to shoot. Um, you could definitely take down a deer with it, take down a hog, coyote, fox, anything you wanted pretty much with this gun for a minimal amount of money. So um, really nice gun. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.